Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. I'm here at the National Hardware Show and I'm in UGL's booth. They're the makers of Czar Wood Stain, which is a high quality wood stain that I've used for years and gotten great results. But recently I've become aware that you can get wood grain looking results using those same stains on fiberglass. This is PVC pipe. And this piece here that looks like a nice piece of wood, that's MDF. It's surprisingly easy to do, and we're going to show you how to do it. We're going to start out by showing how easy it is to get a wood grain effect on fiberglass. You just take your stain and you wipe it on like shoe polish. After you've applied your stain, if you want it darker, you can apply a little more stain and leave it on. Or if you want it lighter, you can wipe it off. If there's pooling or runs, for example, you can use a soft bristled brush to feather that out. This is what it looks like with teak natural stain, and this is what it looks like, say, with a dark mahogany. Both look great and look like real wood. And here's an example of an entire door done in teak natural stain. It looks great. You might ask yourself why you might want to apply a wood grain to PVC. Well, sometimes you want to blend a non-wood surface into an area where there's already wood grain. And that's where these are stains come in. What you do is you start out by a, a light sanding, then you wipe that sanding dust off. Then the next thing is the fun part, where you start applying the stain. Now you apply an even coat of stain, wiping the direction of the pipe, and then you let this coat dry. Once that first coat is dry, then you simply apply a bit more stain to it, feather it out, and now you've got your wood grain look on PVC pipe. Everyone loves MDF for its price, but nobody loves how MDF looks. Here we're gonna show you how to take a piece of primed MDF molding that you can get at any home center, apply a couple of coats of stain, and get a really nice wood-grained appearance. Starting with the primed MDF molding, the first thing we do is apply a coat of amber varnish. We wipe it on with a cloth, and then feather it with the brush. To achieve a depth of color and to get these great wood grain streaks in it. Then we apply a coat of a darker stain here, Moorish Teak. Feather it with a brush, wood grained MDF. Once you've mastered these techniques, you can put them to use in a variety of ways. For example, here's a piece of foam molding. It looks just like wood. It's been stained to look just like wood. How cool is that? And speaking of molding, here's a piece of plastic molding. Stain has been applied and then wiped off to achieve that pickled look that's very popular. And for those of you who might spend some time on Pinterest, here's a piece of wood that's been stained dark and then brushed over with some gold leaf paint. Really, the only limit is your imagination. So I've had a great time in the booth today learning these techniques where I applied stain to non-wood surfaces and get great looking results. So anytime you have a project, whether it be with real wood or non-wood surfaces, Think of these techniques and put them to use. Remember, you're only limited by your imagination. I'm Rob Johnstone. Thanks for watching.